Today we're in SM. We're gonna do the husband buys my makeup challenge. So the rules are he has to buy enough makeup for a full face and I can't tell him whom, what parts or like what to buy or anything like that. He has to figure it out all on his own. So I'm gonna hand the camera to our brother Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and they're gonna go inside Watson's to figure out what to buy. I'm gonna wait outside while they bring the camera in. So let's go! So, I don't know what to get, but let's go. <laughs> Oh, 
snack stop mo ano. Meron ka rin liquid? Liquid with Yes. KGG rin ba ito? Okay. 
Sige. Sa ibang, sa ibang brand. Um, Okay. Caroline. Halos lahat naman depende pa rin sa pagbibend. Liquid eyeliner, sir. Meron na kayo. Sige, yun na lang. Liquid eyeliner? Ah, wala pa. So, yun na lang. Butter, sir, don't bend. Hindi mo na kailangan to i-deal. Diretso na siya. And then, eyeliner? Meron na. Liquid. Dito yan? Dito yun sa upper. Oo. Pero iba pa yun yung magla-line. Hindi pa yun, hindi. Ganun pa rin naman. Hindi, yung pang-blend na lang. Yung pang-blend na lang. Yung eyeshadow? Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow brown. Wala ba nga na yun? Di ba? Parang ganun yan. Sige, yun na lang. Eyebrows on cheek. Okay. to do vlogs or anything. Let's hope my husband did better. I have not reviewed any of the footage yet. By the way, I forgot to mention that I gave him a budget of 2,000 pesos. I handed him the money myself because he didn't want to spend anything. But apparently he spent a little too much. So anyway, I'm gonna go through what he got for me. It's on this little paper bag. All right. So first, Intuit BB 24 hour 5 in 1 foundation. Okay, interesting. It's a makeup base, a primer, a concealer, and sun protection. I haven't used this yet. Oh, does it come with both a cushion and? Interesting. Anyway, we'll get back to that. <laughs> Let's go through everything else first. Next, um, Caroline Hello Beautiful uh, 12 eyeshadow collection. So. If you guys don't know, Caroline is kind of like the younger or the lower end of Everbilena. So this, I've used some Everbilena eyeshadows and I do like them. So I think Caroline will also pre be pretty good. I think this is for eyeliner. He got me an Everbilena color pencil. I don't know if that's showing. This isn't brown. I don't have many brown eyeliners, so that'll be pretty good for me. This is a blush. He got me the EB Advance Cheek Color in Fig. I have not tried any of their blushes yet, so this should be pretty interesting. For lipstick, this is the Powder Mattes in Ready Red. Oh, sounds very... That's not focusing, is it? Okay. <laughs> the Powder Mattes in Ready Red. And for mascara, he got me the Magnum Big Shot. Um, I haven't used any of these products yet, surprisingly, so it should be interesting. So just to note the things that he did not get. So no concealer, 
No bronzer, no highlighter, no eyebrow pencil. Oh no, I'm probably gonna have to use this as an eyebrow pencil as well. Uh, yeah, but I think he did a pretty good job for his first time with a 2,000 peso budget. So let's open up some of these this stuff. Oh wait, first let me just take off all of my makeup so that I can start with a fresh new face. By the way, this challenge did not include um, brushes or anything like that, just because I felt it would be a little bit more expensive and harder. So I shook that up, put a little bit. Okay, it's not as liquidy as I thought it was going to be. I do like this um, container. I like it when it comes out in this kind of fashion. Though a pump would be much nicer. Okay, so far it looks like it has pretty good coverage. The shade match is all right. I'm surprised he got that right. He was very confident about that. Let me, sorry, let me just turn this on. So far it blends pretty well with the sponge. Okay, the shade is a little lighter than I was expecting. But I think it looks passable. If I had contour, it would have worked, but since there's no contour in what he bought me, I cannot use it. Yes, the rules are I have to use everything that he gave me. Oh no. Some of the mascara is still coming off. I'm sorry guys. So if you see some black stuff, that's going to be from the mascara, not from anything else. So this foundation is definitely not matte. You can see that it's quite dewy. The coverage is uh, low. I guess it could be built. You know what? Let's try to build it up a bit to medium. See how that works. This looks very... I would not um, forego concealer with this. Um, just because I have a lot of... Like I have this really big pimple mark. Though I can see people with better skin could forego concealer when they use this. So I'm just putting a bit more to see how much I can build it up. I don't want to put too much makeup on today. I'm just... Um, playing games and cooking this afternoon until tonight. Though I do want to use this for at least 12 hours. No, not 12 hours, it's already 4 p.m. Maybe like eight, no. Yeah, eight hours should be fine. Okay. So I can see that it can be built up quite a bit. It does have a nice look to it. It's quite natural looking, not like a lot of the other foundations I like to use. I like to use those that are really like foundation. But this is pretty decent. Now I'm going to set it with the loose powder that comes with it. By the way, the shade that he got me was... Oh, it's a limited offer. Cool. I have this, the... This thing, the BB cream, is in Fresh. That's number two. And the setting powder is in number one, Natural. Okay, got it. So I'm just going to do that a little bit. Shake it up a bit, get some up there. Yeah, okay. So I don't usually use, um, well, I don't normally do, but now I've been using some, like you saw in my last video, some colored powders to set. So this should be interesting because I don't have a loose powder with color to set stuff. This is looking okay so far. It does mattify that BB cream down. I guess that's why it's dewy because it's a BB cream. I should have known that. So this looks pretty okay. This is just a few um, dots. Of course, I can't use concealer, so I can't bake, but I would like to see how this would bake. Okay, so next, um, I have to do my brows. He did not get me anything for my brows. I think he was expecting for me to multitask with this. So let's try. This is in the shade brown. I don't know if that is going to focus, but there you go. Okay. So. I need a smaller mirror. Here, I'll use Tarte. So I don't use pencils very often because I always, I've always been bad at like drawing things perfectly. At least with a brush, it's kind of like more forgiving. But with pencils, I feel like there's a lot of mistakes I could make. Especially because I don't have concealer to uh, fix my mistakes. Okay. Oh, I could use a spoolie. Yes! Where's my spoolie? Spoolie? Spoolie. 
I use this one. Really lucky that RJ was super game to do this because um, he doesn't want to do any other challenges like the um, I'll do my husband's makeup or he does my makeup. So this is one of the ones that he was very game for. I showed him a video maybe a month ago or two months ago and I said as soon as I start filming again I want him to do it. And he agreed as long as I paid for all of the makeup. Which I did except for I guess he went over by 200 pesos because man this BB cream is quite expensive. This is so me, I lost the cap already. Anyway, I'll get back to that because I have to use it anyway. So I'm horrible at doing brows if you guys haven't noticed yet. So this is this one is going to be no exception. I wish I had concealer to help me fix my brows, but no concealer. No concealer challenge. Okay, this is a little dark, if you couldn't tell. Um, it look, makes me look very angry. <laughs> Not a fan of this for my eyebrows. I don't, I shouldn't be using brown pencils. You know, I just figured I could have used one of these. I think the shape is good. It's just the color is a bit too dark for me. Why well, I'm not used to using this kind of color anymore where I just look like rah. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna use a bit of the BB cream to um, shape my brows a little bit better. Just because it's supposed to be concealer also, right? So I fixed my brows a bit with some of the BB cream. I think that is good enough. Yeah, I think I did a pretty good, okay job. I have a bit left on my hand. I'm just gonna put that on top of my mark. Just to kind of set it in. Maybe that'll work as concealer? I don't know. Well, it, it works as concealer, I guess. So, um, I think the BB cream is also meant to be like an eyeshadow base, so I put it on my eyes. I'm gonna go in now to this Caroline Hello Beautiful palette. The pa palette, yeah. This is 160 pesos. See, Caroline is very good with price points. Oh, I forgot to... How much is this? This is 120 pesos, in case anyone was interested. Where's the cap? I can't believe I lost the cap in like 5 seconds. Okay, anyway, I'll get back to it later. So this, of course, comes with this little thing. It's the beginner thing for all junior makeup artists. This is the full palette. So I'm going to go in with my eyeshadow brushes that I have not cleaned because I am irresponsible. Well, I haven't cleaned since this morning. So I will start with this brush. I'm going to use this. Ooh. Okay, never mind. I'm using this brush. I'm going to go in with to this shade. There are no names on the shades. So, um, of course, they can keep the price down if they keep the packaging simple. There is no mirror on this, like the like a lot of other cheaper palettes. Wow, this is more pigmented than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be harder to work with. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this brush to blend it out a bit because this is looking a bit ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it smells like baby powder. Or like a baby's room. Maybe baby powder, like baby wash. Johnson's and Johnson's something. Okay, so that blends out pretty well. I like it as a crease shade. Um, maybe I'll go a little bit funky. I'll put in some purple just to see how the purples look. That's pretty pigmented. I like that. I could recommend this to beginners who want to start using colors but aren't ready to invest in more expensive palettes because this is only 160 pesos and it's pretty good for color. Look at that. This is this purple right here. It translates pretty well. It's not as dark as, I, as it looks in the palette but I think it's pretty good. I'll use just a little of this lavender into my eye, into the corner. Blend it into the corner a bit. And then I just want to make sure that everything is blended out here in the crease from the brown to the purple. And I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that's a pretty okay for a 160 peso palette. This is great. I think this is going to be great for like traveling and stuff. I'm going to start bringing this along with the Comfort Zone palette. So now I'm going to go in with eyeliner. 
Uh, I'm going to use the same one that I used for my eyebrows. It doesn't say what it's for, so I assume it's for both. It's not red, so it should be fine for the eyes. Okay, a little bit. It's not good for upper lash <laughs> eyeshadow. It's just not showing on me, I guess, because I don't know. I think this would make a great lower line eyeliner. Yeah, that works better. That works much better. Also maybe because there's no eyeshadow down there. It did okay, I can see that it emphasized my eyes quite a bit, but um there's a black in here. I think I will use that to line my eyes instead. Okay. RJ right now is playing PUBG while I'm doing my makeup. Hopefully can both be playing video games later. Okay. That's much better with the black. The black is also pretty good. It's pretty pigmented. I should do a swatch of the black. Maybe just the black. It's pretty pigmented for what what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be much lighter. This whole palette is surprising me. Look at how black that is. I got an email. Okay, so now I am going to go into blush. So this is the EB Advanced Cheek Color. This is 175 pesos. He got me Fig. Yes, as I said earlier, I don't think I have used an EB Advanced cheek color quite yet. Why is it so thick? Oh, there's like a little thingy. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. I will use my blush brush. Just go over on my cheeks. And this is. You know, I shouldn't be surprised that EB Advance has such good pigmentation by now. It's one of the things I love about them. I went too overboard with this blush. Look at me. That was like two dips. Look at that. And it's already so red. The color, I think, is okay on me. I don't have a color like this that's quite reddish. It's a bit reddish. It's pinkish red, but it's more on the mauve reddish side. So this is pretty good on me. It does make me look like I'm drunk right now, though, right? Okay. Oh, I forgot mascara. So let me curl my lashes really quickly. It's kind of sticky, but that should be fine. It's not on the end of the lashes where I mean, you won't be able to. You'll still be able to see the difference because I got rid of most of the mascara already. So this is the Maybelline, it's the Maybelline Magnum Big Shot. I think this is the one that Manny MUA is advertising, right? Is it? That's so weird. That's so strange. I've never seen anything like this. But anyway. I'm pretty sure he went around asking people in the store, Ano ba maganda dito? Ano ba maganda dito? Because he's the kind of guy who has to like research everything before he buys it. And even though I told him we were going to do this, I don't think he was able to do enough research. Also, it wouldn't have been as fun if he did the research. Okay, this is pretty good. Wow, yeah. It's, uh, it's, what I like about it is that it really fans my lashes out in a, in like a different way. It makes me look like I'm wearing falsies. Uh, I like, I like that look more than what the heroin make gives me on its own. Heroin make mostly just makes it look thicker but not like like this where it kind of fans out. This, uh, of course, it has its time and place in my collection. I don't think it'll be for every day because, um, well, we'll see. Usually mascaras on me, uh, they kind of, what do you call this? Kind of run and they melt after a few hours. So we'll see, I'm gonna be cooking. So this will really test it. The wand, I think, I don't know. I don't know if I like this wand. I guess, I guess if I like how it fans out my lashes, I like the wand, right? It still doesn't do anything for my lower lashes, so. But I barely have any there, so. That's not their fault. Mm. It doesn't curl my lashes as much as I would like, but it does make them look much longer and much fuller. So that's something that's definitely good about this mascara. I know why a lot of people like it.
I didn't coach him in any way. He's seen some of my videos, but I didn't tell him outright that he needs to buy this, he needs to buy that. Okay. Last is the Maybelline Power Mats. Powder mats! I thought it was power! Powder mats! This was 300 pesos and this is in Ready Red. Oops. Okay, it looks like this. It's very red. Oh, I should have thought about that before I put on my eyeshadow. Uh, okay. Well, here we go. It smells weird. Kind of like an old crayon. I've never had a problem with Maybelline lipsticks. I've always been really good especially these, well, with these bullets. So when I saw that he got me this, I wasn't really like worried that it was gonna be bad on me or anything. It always looks good, it's always full pigmentation. So I think, yeah, I think it's a decent color on me. I wouldn't have gotten another red, but I think it's fine. Mm. This BB cream is not, <laughs> It's what I hate about bullet lipsticks they get everywhere. Okay. The BB cream is not agreeing with my mustache. I should have threaded that before I put it on, but otherwise it looks pretty good. It's set really well. So this is my final look. I definitely should have thought about my eyeshadow when I had this red, but I think it pretty much works out. I'm gonna call RJ really quick and ask him what he thinks of this look. So I'm adding this part really quickly now. Um, I've actually finished the face already, but I went back and was watching the footage and I didn't realize he got me eyeliner. I thought this was a Sharpie that fell on the floor from one of my purses. It fell out of the bag. Okay, so I'm gonna try this. This is the Maybelline Maybelline Hyper Impact Liner. Um, I How much is it? Is this it? This is 3.99 pesos. I'm sure you heard it in the video. I've been watching some of the footage already. So I've never used this before, I'd like to see how it works. I was wondering why he didn't get me eyeliner. Because he usually does, always. He knows that I love eyeliner and he, it's one of the things he likes about my makeup look. So this one is really easy to use, wow. That was just like... Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this side. Yeah, okay, that was harder. It's harder to do the other side. But it's nice because it's thick, so it helps me get the lines quicker. But it has a nice fine tip, so it's easier to just kind of fix those lines in. Yeah, this is a pretty good eyeliner. I would recommend it to beginners who are not good at doing their eyeliner yet. Doing the wings, if you're into wings like me. Okay, I screwed it up because I got excited. There we go. Yeah, fix it. Yeah, I think that's even enough. Yeah, I do like this for beginners. Ooh, it does sting a little bit, so you have to be careful if you have sensitive eyes like me. But I think it looks great. It's very black. Not very, it's kind of matte, but not very, it's kind of shiny. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go back to editing now, and I'm gonna link this to the next part of the video. Bye. What do you think of my look? Come here. Come here. Okay, he's turning on the yellow light. What do you think of my look? Do you confident. like it? Confident. 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 Conf Do you know the things that you missed? Yeah. What? I don't know, but. Well. I had to. I had to, to add like two hundred pesos. Of well, it. you got a very expensive set for the foundation and the powder. At least you can use it. <laughs> you did you intend to use double purpose this? Yeah. You did. You, int you intended for that. Yeah. You intended for me not to contour today, so I have fat cheeks. Yeah. No, he didn't. Yeah. I guess that's it for this video, guys. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. If you like this video or found it helpful, please leave me a like below. If you thought this was funny and you want to see more videos with my husband, please leave us a comment so that he'll be encouraged to do more videos with me. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!